I'm just not subtle. Um, I think I thought I would be better at like pulling strings, working behind the scenes. I can't do that. Everything I do is out in front for everybody to see, which is why I got yelled at at a veto meeting and called out during Mimi's eviction and why the entire season people are talking about Corey the schemer. Um, obviously, showman's is what it is. I'm sure it didn't exactly help my position in the game, but Matt and Jag are a super close duo as well. And Blue and Jared, I guess that didn't work out for them, but that was kind of my fault. Uh, so I, I don't really regret that aspect of it. The second that I made that Izzy move every week has been very tumultuous. And I've just been trying to figure out uh, like how I would survive on a week to week basis. And the reality is this week that I left on, you know, the, the America blue stuff was not out of my control. I could have been more proactive, but I didn't make like a massive blunder. And then we had this ridiculous twist, right? With the invisible HOH and the double veto. Um, again, I could have navigated it way better, but the circumstances for me to leave the house were pretty unique and pretty bizarre. So I don't think there was like one moment where I screwed up a ton. Maybe I could have kept Mimi over Felicia. Um, and that might have helped me a little bit because that might have given me another week of buffer to get rid of Mimi because they thought they could keep Felicia until the end of the game. But again, these were all like, maybe it would have helped. Um, the reality is the way this game played out, I think I gave myself a pretty decent shot and things shake out a different way. I think I can make a deeper run. Yeah, of course. Uh, I don't know what drew us together. I think we're both nerds. You know, I present as a nerd. She just is one and maybe hides it a little bit better. Um, the most important thing for me when it comes to anybody is just being fun to talk to and being funny and also thinking I'm funny. Cause if you don't think I'm funny, you generally think I'm unbearable and that would not be an unfair interpretation of me. Um, so, you know, she's hilarious. She's smart. Um, obviously beautiful. So like all of that made sense. And also the, the way that the big brother house works, it kind of drives people together as well. Um, you spend so much time with these people and you kind of cling on to each other for support and when you're in like a, a showman's, which you know, I guess now I'm an expert on showman's, that level of comfort goes so far beyond, you know, anything else you can have in the house. Um, it's, it's the shared experience. It's just the personal closeness. Um, so outside the game, absolutely. I mean, we've talked about, you know, dating afterwards and visiting each other and who knows exactly how it plays out, but I'm, I'm very optimistic, right? She's, she's incredible. So I'd love to see whatever happens and I'm very open to it. You know, when I came out of the season, I didn't know exactly the role I was supposed to fill. I thought I was a nerd almost, like the Ian or the Steve of the season. What I realized as the season went on is I'm literally just the the child, the young person, the 21-year-old, which, which is a very fun thing to lean into, obviously. I actually liked it quite a bit because I think I did not play as if I was 21 or 22, right? I played very actively. And um, I think I had a lot of agency in everything I did. I don't think I was really underestimated. If anything, I was, I was overestimated by the other house guests. Um, the, the one thing that I certainly felt while I was in the house is I felt like I was out of my depth. Like I didn't know what was going on. I was freaking out every day. Anxiety was killing me. I couldn't sleep. So I was able to feel being 21, being 22. Um, I don't know exactly how that showed. Um, I think the Me in America part <laughs> They were definitely playing that up of like, oh, my God, he's a college student. She's an adult. Um, but that part of it, I couldn't really care less about. Um, but, yeah, you know, I think I think it's a fun element to it. Usually when you see 21 year olds on this show, they kind of either are dragged along or they flame out. Um, some of them make a really deep run. But even even the Ian's of the world, they have a weird path towards the end. I think I took a very active like a very active route to eighth place say what you will about that but um you know I'm, I'm pretty proud of that considering what i thought i was capable of oh that's tough because obviously i think anyone who wins an hoh would be foolish to put up anyone other than matt and jag except for maybe bowie but even for her i think it would like really be a bad look for her to put anyone else up um, so, you know, it, I think Jag should follow me, assuming he doesn't win HOH or Vito. Um, I'd like to see Felicia or Blue. Um, Felicia, I think, kind of screwed up her game a little bit this week. I think she had 
even if it wasn't to save me an opportunity to pull Bowie away from Matt and Jag a little bit. And instead she just pushed Bowie closer to them. So I think Felicia is kind of a walking corpse in the house right now. So get her out, let the other people actually play. And then um, Blue, just a bit of a rivalry there. I don't respect Blue too, too much as a player, as a person. I think she's incredible, of course. Um, this week, I think she was saved by, you know, the, the second veto. So, you know, I don't see her making a super deep run, but maybe, you know, she's good at competitions. Maybe she has a path forward, but I think Felicia or Blue would be the two people who I would hope to, I mean, it's going to be a double eviction. It's going to be two of them. So maybe both of them come through the door.